A North Texas animal shelter dealing with overcrowding and storm damage is getting help from other animal groups. Fox Wars Dion Anglin joins us now from Denton County with more on what happened. Hey, Dion. Hi there, Clarice. Well, no break in the stormy weather today, nor has there been in the ongoing effort to care for displaced animals and reunite them with their owners. They found this fella hiding beneath the remains of a trailer. It's since been determined his owner was injured in the May 25th tornado outbreak and is hospitalized. He had significant storm injuries. Um, during the tornado, there was metal debris. There's debris of all kinds flying around and he was struck by it many, many times. The Denton County Animal Shelter All American Dog in Pilot Point rescued dozens of pets and accepted others that were dropped off after the severe weather. To date, they have 20 dogs and 14 rabbits still separated from their owners. The crowded shelter reached out for help. Its partner, a mobile animal rescue group, stepped up. However, as soon as that group animal investigation and response arrived, another issue came up. After the tornado and the storms continued to come through and uh, one of their buildings flooded, you know, it just exasperated the problem. And so uh, from there we came in and we realized that we kind of needed a little bit, we probably needed a little bit more help. Around 6 a.m. Monday, additional help showed up. The American Society for Prevention of Cruelty to Animals transported shelter animals that were here before the severe weather to a holding facility in Columbus, Ohio. The gesture will help ease the overcrowding burden while they work to reunite the displaced storm animals with their owners. And then we had to evacuate that building and that's when all the partners really came to play and they've given us a chance by, by taking those 58 dogs this morning. Um, to give us a chance to breathe, to give us a chance to reset the buildings the way they're supposed to be. Now the shelter's work is possible with the help of donations. The veterinarians who are treating the injured animals are doing so by donating their services. All involved are extremely grateful and they're hopeful that the community will continue to assist so they can continue helping.